Hi, welcome to our new YouTube channel, Wayward Son Custom Gun. My name is John and I'll be your host. Um, I'll start off and I'll try to be brief when I do this, but uh, since it's a new channel and everything, uh, you may not know what we're planning on doing or uh, what you might be able to get out of it. So I'm going to uh, just take a few minutes to let you know uh, what you can expect and uh, hopefully what we can uh, expect from you guys. So uh, like I said, my name is John. This is Wayward Son Custom Gun. As you can kind of tell by the uh, title of the, the channel, uh, we deal a lot with custom guns. Uh, so during the, uh, our little journey here, we'll be going, uh, going through some of the custom guns that I've built. Um, we'll be doing some reviews of factory, uh, stock factory guns. We'll be doing some reviews over knives and some other things. We're going to be drawing a lot on my experience and, um, education and training. Um, so just to let you know what that might all entail, my background is I'm a former U.S. Marine Corps MP and close combat instructor. Used to teach line training, um, which was the Marine Corps' hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat, so to speak, uh, and knife fighting training um, back when I was in. Um, also been a National Guard member. I was a uh, forward observer, calling in fire and all that kind of stuff. And I spent uh, all total almost 20 years counting my time as an MP in law enforcement. Uh, during that time frame, I was a deputy sheriff, um, a city police officer, a federal police officer. I was a SWAT team officer for several years. Uh, during that time frame, I also became a firearms instructor for more than one jurisdiction. I've uh, been a firearms instructor for a couple decades now. I've also uh, been a taser instructor. Uh, an ASP tactical baton instructor, ASP tactical handcuffing instructor, um, law enforcement physical fitness instructor, um, and uh, I was a U.S. as a civilian, I was a U.S. Air Force uh, combat arms instructor, which is um, who they have to repair small arms, uh, anything from the M4 family, M16s, uh, the Beretta M9 at the time, uh, the SIG M11, the uh, Mark 19, um, any of the crew served uh, machine guns. Uh, so just a, a little bit of everything, basically anything that's not large and moving, um, anything that, uh, that uh, our troops could carry in their hands. I repaired and then also uh, did firearms instruction for them as well, uh, primarily with uh, our uh, armed forces members that were going overseas, uh, going to the sandbox. So that's been a few years ago. But uh, um, I'm also a uh, lifelong martial arts enthusiast. So um, all that combined, what we're going to try to do is be a one-stop shop for everything. Um, I do have a website, waywardsuncustomgun.com, where you can find a lot of other stuff that you can't find here on YouTube because of their rules regarding firearms and related subjects. So if I start talking about particular parts or anything... Um, I can't link you to them from here. I can't really go into a lot of detail for a lot of things such as installation and stuff like that here, but go to our website and you'll be able to find some of those links and some of those uh, uh, resources that you can't find here. Um, different set of rules, so we make our own rules over there. We can't here. We have to, we have to uh, do what the man says. Um, so as far as like build lists or anything like that, I'll throw out parts and stuff that I use for different builds. Um, you'll be able to find those. Um, also, we'll post these videos on the website as well. And I even do some uh, custom hydro dipping with AR furniture and different different things and um, do a few little services. So the, the hope is, is that sooner or later we'll be uh, scheduling classes and all that kind of stuff through the website and everything. Right now it is up and running. It's not 100% where we want it to be, but it is functional and you can check it out. And like I said, all these videos, the build lists and all that will be available over there. So if you want to try to find some of these parts, then you can do that. Uh, so anyway, uh, enough about myself and what we're planning on doing. Uh, let's dive right into it. I'm going to start off. This, uh, this is our first video. So I'm going to go with the first gun, the first pistol. That I ever built. Now this is built completely from scratch. I bought 
uh, strip frame, strip, uh, strip slide, all the parts, everything built it from bag O gun. All right. So we're going to go over it real, uh, real, uh, short and sweet, but it's a, if you can see, it is a Glock style. And as Glocks go, this would be a Glock 34. But the only thing Glock about it really is the internals. Um, as you can see, it does have a straight fluted barrel that is threaded, half by 28, so you can use your compensators, silencers, uh, what have you, any kind of muzzle attachment threaded for half by 28 will work. All right. We have a stainless steel slide that does have a window cut in the top. If you wanted to use a ported barrel, that would be uh, conducive to that. The barrel itself is an Alpha Wolf by Lone Wolf Distributors fluted threaded barrel for uh, Glock 34. The slide is also a stainless steel Lone Wolf Distributors slide. Now, um, that window, even though this is a 34, so it has the longer slide, the longer barrel, normally that would create a little bit more weight in the muzzle area, and a lot of shooters would find it muzzle heavy. That's not the case, though, because of the window, uh, the port window right here that's cut out. It does lighten the slide up a little bit, and I think it also gives it a little bit of uh, aesthetic appeal, too. Um, even more so if you want to get into some of the fancier, um, like tin-coated or um, different fluted barrels, like a fax and flame barrel, something like that. Um, you could really set it off and make it your own. But I chose just to go with the regular straight fluted there. I'm going, uh, as far as the slide went, I was just going for a little more function because the frame is a little out there so it kind of balances out now as you'll see the uh, as far as the sights go these are Williams fire sights uh, fiber optic front sight blacked out rear sight now the thing is um, no I had never really used Williams fire sights before I'm a big fan of true glow fiber optic sights and their TFO series or TFX series I'm a big fan of uh, true glow and some of the other night sight uh, manufacturers, but I wanted to try something new. I had this is outside my comfort zone. I hadn't tried them before, so that's what I was looking at doing. Now, as far as the internals go, all stock Glock parts, um, including the end plate, which at some point I may, I may or may not choose to switch out. Maybe get something that kind of ties in with the overall theme, but. This is my Reaper gun, and the reason I call it that is because I'm not sure how well it shows up on the camera, but this frame, like I said, is a Lone Wolf Distributors frame, but it's hydro-dipped, and this came from the factory hydro-dipped, in Provail Reaper Black Camo. So it's got all the cool skulls and everything. That's why it's the Reaper. That's why it's the the Reaper pistol. All right. So um, bad news for you guys though. If you see this frame and you're th you look at you're looking at this pistol and you go, man, I really like that that frame. Where can I get one, John? Here's the problem. You're gonna have to go on the used market because um, these were I built this gun back in uh, I believe it was 2011. So um, shortly after that, at the time, Lone Wolf Distributors was selling these frames, and they had a number of different uh, uh, hydro dip finishes you could get, carbon fiber and such, and then you had these. Well, out of all of them, I thought this was the coolest. I, I gotta admit, I'm typical military kind of guy. Skulls are kind of cool and all that good stuff. Wanted to look badass. So, went with the skulls. The thing is, is now... These have been long out of production, the original slide, or excuse me, original frames, and also the uh, finish. So you cannot get this frame anymore. You can get Lone Wolf Distributor frames, but they have a new owner, and they have also, uh, they have new slide variations that are out there. They have new, um, new frames. 
They are very similar to this, but the composition feels just a little bit different. I do have one that I'm in the process of building that uh, I'll show you in a subsequent video and probably even bring this one out and show you the, the differences. But right now that's still in the building stages. It's not done, so we're not ready to, to do a comparison just yet. But this, uh, this frame, for the most part, is one with distributors filled with Glock OEM parts. Uh, when it comes to internals, there's only a few companies that I really trust when it comes to internals. One is Glock OEM. I mean, they come from the factory. They're built to last. They just work. Second is um, Shadow Systems Corporation. Um, Shadow System makes some really great guns, and we're even going to review one of those later on. I'll show you some custom builds involving them, too. Um, and then Polymer 80 makes some good quality parts. Other than that, I can't really, I'm not going to really endorse or say that any of the others are good to go. Um, if you put crap in your pistol, I don't want it to be on my recommendation. Um, I really set out to just show you what I've used, what I've found is to be high quality uh, parts and everything to help you on your own builds and, um, and your own purchases. Uh, I'm not affiliated with anybody right now. I don't have any sponsors. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm doing this because I love guns and knives and all that good stuff. God bless America. I just love freedom. So, right now, um, everything I'm showing you, everything I go over, if I tell you I think something's good, it's because it's the God's honest truth. I've tried it, I've used it, and I like it because of one reason or another. Whether it's because of functionality, aesthetics, reliability, or a combination of a bunch of things. So, I can tell you this much. It comes with, um, these came with two back straps. And yes, the back straps were hydro uh, dipped as well in the same pattern. Um, the internals are all Glock except for the magazine release. The magazine release was proprietary. Um, it was the UAT, um, I believe is what they called it, if I'm not mistaken. And um, it was proper, pro, I can't even speak, proprietary to this particular frame and to all, you know, when I say this frame, all Lone Wolf distributed frames of that era. So all the internals on the slide, like I said, Glock internals and everything, thing runs like a dream. And a lot of people get tied up in triggers and stuff, and I'm not gonna tell you I'm not ever gonna use trigger uh, different triggers, I haven't. But I honestly never have, I've shot Glocks for years, years and years. And I've yet to have a problem with anything but a New York trigger. Tell you straight up, Glock New York trigger, regardless of which type, it sucks. It's crap. New York uh, really hates their cops or something because that is just a terrible trigger. But uh, the factory trigger, I've never had a problem with the reset. I've never had uh, people will say they're gritty or they're spongy or this or that problem. I've never had a problem with it. So for most of mine, I just use good old standard Glock trigger. It saves me money on my builds. And I can use that savings where somebody might spend 200 bucks on a trigger. I can spend 25 on a trigger and then have another 175 to use elsewhere. Where it's going to show in appearance more or add in functionality or reliability or what have you. But I'd rather spend my money elsewhere because I think that's a pretty good trigger. Now one of the cool things is that this is, like I said, it's a Glock 34 in essence. So it takes, you know, Glock 17 mags and also Magpul, which a lot of people don't recommend aftermarket mags for carry use. I'm telling you, I've, I've used Magpul Glock mags since they came out in all variations, all sizes, and I've used Glock OEM mags, I've used ETS mags and everything, and I'll be honest with you, I have absolutely no problem using one of these, one of these Magpul P mags for a Glock. I have no problem using that for duty carry. I have no problem using it for self-defense carry. They're good quality magazines, just like their, just like their AR-15 cousins, just like their AR-10 cousins. Magpul doesn't put out crap. You may not like the way they look, you may not like the way they feel or whatever, but they work. Now, so that was a Magpul mag there. Now, I want to show you this one. 
And you may be thinking, well, why does he want to show us just your run-of-the-mill Glock 17 magazine? What's so special about that? I'm going to tell you. What's so special about it is it completes the look. Because I think that the skull pattern, I think this Reaper camo is pretty badass to begin with. But then, um, back when you could still buy, find some decent deals on on uh, eBay for gun parts and stuff like that, I back before they did their site-wide purge, you could still find some pretty cool stuff. And actually what I'm going to show you now, you can still find on there, because I got it not too long ago. This is a recent addition to an already built gun. But I really think it sets it off. And uh, you're out there in, in YouTube viewer land, so... So I don't want to see any comments, please, about how you're flagging me because I can't shoot you through the camera, okay? We understand that, right? Okay, so no snowflake comments, please, but hopefully you can see that. That base plate is actually an extended, like you would use for, say, a Glock 26, 27, 29, you know, the baby Glocks. To give you a little extra finger purchase, give you some place for your pinky. Well, it's kind of the same concept, only it's been sculpted into a skull and then given a silver distressed kind of um, finish to it. So it actually, I think, ties in beautifully with the rest of the gun. So. I just think that's beautiful. Now, I have no idea who this guy is or his actual company, but uh, I, I went ahead and checked on eBay last night, and I'm filming this on Memorial Day 2021. So um, I went on the on eBay's site last night to see if this guy still even, if he was still doing this stuff. Because, you know, some of those guys have been kind of pushed out by eBay. Well, here's the thing. He's still there, and he has a huge selection of things that, and most of them are skull related, I'm going to tell you that much. But he has different grips and base plates and stuff. Not just for Glock, but also for some obscure guns like Star PDs and um, things of that nature. Heritage Rough Riders and, I mean, Sig P, uh, uh, P238s and stuff like that. Um, he's got some for Berettas. But anyway, I have no idea who this guy is. I've never met him. Uh, my only deal with him is to buy this base plate off of him. Uh, uh, a year or so ago, just to see if it was worth it or not. I think I paid twenty bucks for it. Right now they're going for he's selling them for twenty five on eBay, but uh, his username is get underscore a underscore grip underscore on underscore it. So get a grip on it with underscores in between each word, and um, he's selling these for it's either twenty or twenty five. I can't remember which. I know it was last night, but I've slept since then. So anyway, um, yeah, that's the Reaper pistol. Um, I, I'm going to try, I, I tend to get long-winded when I start talking about stuff like this that I really enjoy, so I'm trying to keep this under, you know, three hours, um, so to speak. This is, uh, this is my very first pistol, so it's very near and dear to my heart. Um, like I said, built it from parts and everything, because I'm... Been a Glock armor for years. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but uh, that's kind of where I got into building guns. That and uh, being a combat arms instructor in the Air Force, that's when I started learning how to work on ARs and some of the other stuff, um, customizing 870s and Remington 870s and all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm going to wrap it up. Like I said, if you saw anything on this video that you liked as far as parts, you want to try to replicate this yourself. Like I said, I can get you close. I can, I can point you in the right direction for a grip that is very similar, a frame that is very similar to this, but it won't be this exact one because they don't make them anymore. It won't be this exact finish because I've yet to find, um, I've been trying for the better part of a couple years, I've been trying to find another company that offers any kind of uh, hydro dipped uh, frame like this. So far, I haven't. Now, you can always send it off and have it done, but that's always going to be a little bit more expensive than if you buy it ready-made. Because they can do that in, in bulk and you're doing a one-off. So, one-offs always cost more than bulk. Anyway, 
Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm excited to get some more content out there. And what we're looking at doing is we're looking at uh, dropping new videos, new 2A related videos. Um, well, and maybe 2A plus. We're looking at doing uh, our gun videos, whether the reviews of factory or custom builds, um, whether it's pistols, rifles, shotguns, what it have you. We're looking at all that 2A stuff um, and knife related content, that sort of thing. Kind of things that shoot or are stabby will be uh, done on Wednesday, so we'll drop new videos then. And then um, also once a week, um, we're either going to do, there's going to be a, a few subscription box unboxings, subscription services, uh, services I should say, because sometimes they come in envelopes. But we're going to do some unboxing, um, unveiling of some subscription boxes and things of that nature on um, varying dates because whenever they come in we'll do the video and in addition to that if there's a week when we don't have a subscription box come in then we'll do a supplementary one and that could be on just about any talking topic it may be on self-defense it may be on 2a related things um, without showing you a gun maybe just be uh, talking about things in the news could be a little bit of anything, but it's going to be a little bit of bonus content. Those will probably be a little bit shorter if we do those than the unboxings or the 2A related. So anyway, that's what we're looking at is we're looking at Wednesdays for new drops on our guns and such. And then um, once a week, we'll either have the subscriptions as they come in or something else to hopefully grab your attention and, and get you thinking. But I hope that this, I hope this video... Although short and sweet, I hope it gave you some sort of idea of what you can do and get those creative juices flowing. Because the more people we have building guns, the more freedom we're spreading. And uh, I'm telling you, it, it's one thing to buy a nice, new, fresh, shiny gun and take it to the range. It's a whole other experience to build it yourself, go to the range and hear it go bang, and then keep going. That is a beautiful thing. And that's one of the reasons to love America. Because we have the freedom to do that. So, until next time. Like I said, I'm John. This is Wayward Son Custom Gun Channel. Please visit waywardsoncustomgun.com Where you can find uh, build lists and all that other good stuff. And we're going to be adding content. We're, we're not 100% yet, but we're getting there. But please uh, visit waywardsoncustomgun.com Um... Please leave your any comments. If there's something you want to see in the future, you want to see us go over, please let me know. If there's any questions you have, let me know those too. Um, if you have snarky comments, that's fine too. Um, we're not all perfect and I can take the criticism of God's big high. Um, but if you do like it and you don't want to leave a snarky comment, then by all means, please leave a nice one. Uh, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can know when new, new content comes out and all that. And until next time, until next time, all I can say is that uh, God bless America. God bless America. Um, that we uh, that we still have a little bit of freedom. Because I'm living in uh, one of the socialist uh, republics right now. Hopefully to get out soon. But God bless America that we still have the freedoms that we have. So I want to encourage you all to exercise them. E exercise it every day. Whether it's through concealed carry or through training or through education, whatever it is. Just exercise your freedoms every day. Know the Constitution and live by it and expect others to live by it. And uh, hopefully we can turn our country around because it's still a great country. It's just uh, got a few speed bumps right now. So, um, until next time, watch your six and carry on. Wayward Sun out.